a care for my brother Jacob and he's got medication but he gets it changed so regularly that I don't know what's going on and it'd be nice to know what's happening and why it's getting changed so I could understand more about what's happening. When you're given so much medication for the person you're looking after and you're not exactly sure what to do with it at first until you're shown by other people or how many to give, what days to give, what times, you know. Um, yeah, just easier sort of prescription information that's given on the prescription saying when to do it. It should be child friendly because I don't understand half the words, it's like on oh, my brother's tablets and things like that so I'd kind of want it to be clearer and there should be someone like the doctors that should be able to explain it to you better so you can kind of understand without just reading something and being like what? What, what does that mean? You know? Also, if we need to go pick up prescriptions at the pharmacies, they won't let us do that if we're under 16. Instead of him having to drive up down there, um, I could then um, just walk. Because we've got local doctors in the village, it'd be much easier if I could walk, just get a prescription. Part when Mum first got diagnosed with a condition, um, I wasn't allowed in to appointments, or I had to sit outside, or um, I'd come up and see my mum when she was in hospital. It was only for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, and then I had to be shooed out, so I couldn't see them, you know, checking on my mum. And that, that bugged me, because I, even to this day, I still don't fully know what's wrong with my mum, because the doctors and my mum will consider it a bit funny with me, that I might not be able to take it. <laughs> I don't think, like, doctors and nurses and people like that, I, I don't really ever see them, like, because I'm always in school. And if I'm with the doctor, they don't really say much to me when I'm with my mum. Yeah. District nurses, because I live in such a rural, rural place, like I live in the middle of nowhere, they most of the time refuse to come and see my mum because we live so rural. And even if she's like really ill, they won't come and see her. My mum's got an ileostomy bag and she always runs out of them towards the end of the month and they don't like send her anymore. So like, then she can't eat food because then the bags would leak for the night and then it like stops her getting sleep and then it like, makes it ill because like, that'll lower her immune system and she gets like ill again. They're trying to like educate us more about health so like if there ever was like a problem in a house like the person we care for was sick and there's no one else about they like try and teach us first aid so we might be able to like stop or help and you know, try and prevent something before it starts. What would be nice is to uh, get out to do one of my favourite sports, swimming, um, because it, it keeps my health health right. Um, it gives me a bit of stress-free time. Um, I'm still having counselling with the doctors to sort my anger out because um, I sometimes I can't control it. I'm that bad, I just can't control it. I have to obviously go for my prescriptions as well. Uh, and it does, it does get horrible, but um, at the times, at sometimes I feel really happy about being able to help my dad because I basically it doesn't make me feel useless and it makes me feel good about myself. I don't think it's changing for the better, if anything, we're being ignored and there should be a lot more medical support on hand. teachers don't see that I sometimes miss a lesson or something to go sit in the Inkira's office to talk rather than in a lesson because I'm stressed or I need someone to talk to. Um, they don't see from my point of view on why I'm there and teachers don't tend to understand. Um, I think more teachers need to be aware that I'm a young carer because say if I haven't done my homework or say for whatever reason at home then they wouldn't know that it's because of home, they just thought maybe I'd be lazy or something like that. I care for my mum and my sister. Um, it is quite stressful at times because I've got my my own work to do, like school work, GCSEs coming up now, so looking after my mum is quite hard at the moment. I can't focus a lot at home. Um, I find it really stressful all the time. So I, I like getting out to do things every now and then when I can, and the young carers, it's great. The teachers do not understand where the young carers come from, why they truant, but in actual fact they're actually trying to do things for their family and fit it all into the schedule with their education as well. 
and obviously I sit there worrying and worrying about my dad, I can't concentrate for my work or there's eight times when I've got a ring in and I'm like I can't come in because I've got to look after my dad. I do worry a bit if I don't hear from her during the day or if I like can text her and she doesn't text back. There's only two people I think in the whole school that knows that I'm a young carer and that's the like two of the three deputies and um, I don't think any of the teachers know and like what I think could be an improvement is either they tell them or we have like a little ID card just to for in general just to like show somebody that, that says says like we're a young carer. For people to understand for what, uh, what more like I do for my mum. Like say if you didn't like do your homework on time because you're caring for whoever I, that's also an issue because I get detention a lot for not doing my homework because of looking after my mum. We have like a social worker called Mrs Claire Owen and she's got like a list of all the young carers and a couple of my teachers know because like if you have homework and in late or if you're late for a lesson they know why you might be late, that you have a reason, like they wouldn't ask you in front of the class to like embarrass you in front of everybody, they just like take it to one side and they go is it because you've been caring for your mum or whoever you've been caring for, and you just say yes and you go and sit down. I have to have a note and I would like to be able to just go in and say I've had to do this and this and that and they would understand that. I think there should be someone from a Young Carers project in all schools everywhere as much as possible. I'm in college now but when I was in school they had support there and people could talk to but it would be good to have someone in college to talk to about it and like support you through it. They do quite a lot really, because Sylvan comes in every couple of weeks to see how we're doing, has like a little session. They try to do that, take us out of like lessons which aren't core subjects, so they'd never take us out of like an English, well, science or English lesson, so they wouldn't want to like affect our education as well, so nothing more they could do really. Without like letting people know that we are young carers, so they try and keep like it private and help you at the same time. I think we should have a card off young carers to help us more with activities and other things we could do outside of school. There should be like a bus pass for like for young carers so they can get to school if they need to, if they're late or something or they need to get back from school or they need to go shopping or something. Um, I used to get like really badly bullied and people take the mick out of the fact that I have to like look after my dad and do his shopping and stuff and a few times I've been jumped and um, I had the shopping and the money taken off me and then all I've gone home with was like her um, nosebleed and black eyes and something like that so. Yeah I would like people to like not take a mickey out of us for going to young carers and um, they, I would like them to like understand what a young carer is to begin with, I planned on staying at home and then just travelling to Wrexham University. But it really upset my mum the idea that she was holding me back from going away and living the uni life. So um, after some poking and prodding to go, I'm going. But it's going to be difficult because more social workers are going to have to come in and help my mum. It's, it's, I don't know, I feel sort of guilty for leaving a bit. But you know, I'll only make her feel bad if I don't go. <laughs> I want to go to university, but my stepdad looks after her when I'm in school, so I think he should be okay, hopefully. Obviously I'll come and see her at weekends or whenever I can come back and see her, but yeah, I guess I do worry when I leave what if he's going to be okay. <laughs> Can't go off to uni or anywhere like that because I won't be around much to help out with my family, so it'll be a bit difficult. Um, yeah, you know, way things have improved by I now have access to the Young Carers Project in school once a week. Um, but other than that I don't think teachers are aware of pupil situation like at home because uh, none of them know that I'm a young carer. None of them ask me how things are or speak to me about them. When social services were involved in me, they um, were there for me and my siblings, but they tend to care more about the siblings and what my mum and my stepdad were involved in rather than me myself. I was pushed aside. 
I think it is important to have people there for you, for the support and everything. But some people who don't, they get into other things and it's, it's just easier to have people there to talk to and it's nicer. Because you can get through it a lot easier. It like, gives you like an hour or a couple of hours away from what goes on in your house and it lets you know like you're not the only one in the world that like has to deal with these problems. There's other people you can talk about and there is help available to like help if you need it. I think that's improved in a way that we can now get support from social workers, meaning that we can sit down as a family, discuss problems, address solutions, things like that. Because a few years ago when I was younger, there was, n there was no social workers to do that. We had no awareness of it, but now there's a little more awareness and there's a little more help there. Um, this Young Carers project has, project has helped me make new friends, be more social, uh, build up confidence to talk to my um, talk to friends and the staff about problems, and they help me out a lot with um, with problems. Um, and I think they're all great. I'm glad to meet them. I think just meeting new friends was good. Just the, the friends that have the same problems at home, so they understand. My normal friends don't don't understand what sort of pressure you go through being a young carer. Basically, don't just shove young carers to the side. Basically, just don't put them into the dark. Bring them into the light.